All right, and welcome back to Retrospect My Fantasy. Uh, we're still playing Final Fantasy V. Uh, there's an announcement that I'd like to make before we do the recap and get into uh, the game itself. Uh, and that is that... For the rest of the month, at the beginning and end of every stream, I'm going to make the same announcement, and that is that if we make it to 10 followers before the end of September, I will schedule a 24-hour stream. It's not going to be 24 hours of whatever game we're playing at the time. It's just going to be a guaranteed 24-hour stream. Um, there will be a couple breaks, you know, use the restroom, get food, whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. So, with that in mind, what happened yesterday? So, we... took the fire-powered ship that's no longer running on the fire crystal over to the Crescent Island. Over here. Where it then got sucked into a whirlpool. We then rode on a black chocobo and flew back to the ancient library where we met Mid and Sid. And then from there, we went to the city of Ruin, which is just ruins, and where we found an ancient machine that teleported us to the catapult. After doing a little bit more running around in this ancient machine, we found a airship, which Sid and Mid fixed up for us, and we flew around back over to Ruin, only to find out that Dad had, that King Dad activated in another ancient machine that was a flying citadel with a bunch of cannons and whatnot. Uh, we destroyed the cannons, got our way inside, fought and killed this horrible creature, and then Dad, being possessed by X-Death, broke the Earth Crystal, uh, which then exploded the, uh, the fortress. We crash-landed, and we have lost Golov. His daughter came, rescued us, and Golof went home with his daughter. So we are now down a person. Um, so, with that, what ha what did I... Did we do anything mean worthwhile in the grinding? Uh, we got a level for each person and a job level for each person. So, that's it. Back in the airship. Let's see here. Bart's? Yeah? So we've been talking. Oh, that's always a bad thing to say. They're still fighting X-Death in that other world, and we've got to avenge Papa. Yes, what's more, Galuf, he's... He's one of us. Bart's. We knew you'd get it. Let's go then, to the other world. But how do we do that? The meteorites don't have enough power to warp anywhere. Well, I think... Well, when I think meteorites, I think Sid. He'll probably know something. Well, if we're gonna go to Sid, that means we have to go back to the catapult. Because Sid and Mid are hanging out in the catapult, learning as much about the ancient machinery as they can. Also, before we do that, we are actually... Gonna go here into Crescent. Go to their item shop. If I can fucking find it. It must be in the inn. Alright, to the inn. And we're going to restock on some much needed provisions. Like potions, Phoenix Downs, whatnot. Because we have a fuck ton of money.
to get all these up to 25. We'll get this up to 35, because Phoenix Downs are really useful. And so are tents. All right. So now that we've got that taken care of, let's get back on our ship and go land on the catapult and go talk to Sid and Mid. They didn't greet us on the dock this time. That's a little unusual. Uh, nope. Wrong way. Yes, we will go ahead and rest for a bit. Yeah! Are they over here in the machine shop? It's in Sid Adamantine. Letter from the issue for innovation is dangerous. Went to return it. I hope nothing has happened to Sid. Adamantite, that means... We need to go back to where we acquired our adamantite, which was in Gallop's Meteor. So we need to go make our way over there. Not in the steam powered, sh or the fire powered ship, but. And our very own diagonal flying airship. All right. So let's see what's going on over here. Hey, there's Black Chocobo. Huh? What's Black Chocobo doing here? Well, I mean, they had to get here somehow, right? Sid, Mid, what are you guys? Parts, stay back. It's dangerous. A huge wave of power just started flowing from the adamantite. We just thought to put it back where it came from. Hold on. <gasps> Jumping Chris. What? What kind of exclamation is that? Jumping Christmas. The floor is absorbing the energy from the adamantite. Say, do you think the meteorite could be recharging? Perhaps it would be enough for us to travel to Galof's world. That's as good a, an idea as any. What? What are you going on about? Brief explanation. Hmm, so that's your plan. But this piece of adamant... Adamantite is so small. There's not enough power for this meteorite to get you to the other world. But maybe if all four meteorites' power, meteorites power were combined, it'd be enough to warp to Galop's world? Alright, let's get to the next meteorite. Alright, let's get to the next meteorite. The next one was over by the water temple. Over by where our dragon friend is still hanging out. Wait here. Leave it to us. Hmm. That's that. Okay, let's hurry. <gasps> Mid, Sid, look out. Whatever, backwards, fuck it. Oh, 
between Shiva and Blizzaga, or Blizzara, we should be able to get a fair amount of damage done on these guys pretty quickly. Hmm. Are they all gonna cast Cure? Because I'm okay with them all casting Cure on themselves. Because the amount of damage that we did was vastly superior to that. There we go. One down, so a little bit more damage for each one. Hey man, if they're just gonna keep casting cure on themselves like this, I'll take it. Because that means we're just gonna wreck fucking house on these douchebags. Nothing to steal. Ah, shit. Yeah, if you can kill them all simultaneously, that's the best you can do. Oh, shit. Well, there's four. Hopefully... God damn it! Okay, well, now we're down to three. That's an improvement, I guess. God damn it! I forgot how much of a pain in the butt these guys are. If you can kill them all simultaneously, that's the best way to do it. But obviously... That is a bit of a difficulty for us. Especially when they can... Choose to self-destruct like that. Okay, three down. God damn it, you sons of bitches. Damn it, why aren't you fuckers dying? Not enough MP left. God damn it. Give her a high potion, that way she doesn't die to attack or critical attack. Good enough. up all your MP.
God damn it. Well, I mean, that's convenient, I guess. Suck a dick. Not enough MP. Ha 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 ha. God damn. Are you alright? That was awesome. Alright. Let's get to the next meteorite. For that, I want to check this guy out. That's fine. Just wanted to make sure that they're not trying to pull a fast one on me. Alright, well that was a giant pain in the butt. Uh, wrong thing. Meteorite. Right here. All right. Let me go in. Get the next piece, the next tiny little chunk of, uh, Adamantite, and let's move on. Gadzooks, it's a den of monsters. Er, you kids can go on ahead. Yeah, we're good. A den of monsters. I mean, there's definitely a monster. <gasps> Titan. We stole a potion from Titan. Wonderful. Let's spell sword. Sleep. And let's get some cure on. Can move. That move is a fucking bitch. You know what? Let's just attach Blizzard to ourselves. Oh, Titan. Fuck. Oh, so... Okay. Woo! That was way, way too close. Look at Bart. 17 hit points. And all we got is a fucking high potion. Well, I mean, and Titan, but... Really, all we got was a high potion. Much obliged. Now we can leave the rest to us. Alright. Alright, let's go to the next meteorite. Yeah! Before that, we are gonna make a stop up here and take a nap that doesn't cost us a tent. I mean, tents aren't that expensive, but 20 gil is a lot cheaper than 250. Woo! See that little pirouette? That's how you know we're doing awesome. All right. Let's go kick some ass. The 
last meteorite. Gonna fall asleep standing up, cause we're really talented. Hmm. They've been inside for quite some time, don't you think? <gasps> help! Yow, help us! Manticore! That's gonna hurt. There's some good damage. Got a dragon fang from that fucker, hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Good work, guys. and gently stop them from spinning horribly. Come on. Are you all right? We are now. That was close. That's all for our meteorites. Now take a look at that map, at this map. Hmm, the energy seemed to be coalescing at this point. I wonder if she, we should go to there. See where the energies from the four meteorites intersect? That's the warp point. Now get over there. We won't. Chances are we will die a few times, or rather be rendered unconscious a few times. Because Phoenix Downs technically don't bring you back to life. Technically what they do is bring you back from unconsciousness. The light is fading. There's not much power left from the meteorites. No turning back now. A one-way trip, huh? You guys sure about this? We probably won't be able to come back home. That doesn't matter. This is more important. Aye. We're in this till the bitter end. All right, then. Let's go! I suppose this is goodbye to our world. Farewell, Chancellor. Yeah. Fuck up, mateys. I know you can handle the looting and pillaging without me. Goodbye while... Be good while I'm gone, Boko. Don't get into too much trouble. We never went and saw Boko again. We're terrible friends. Off into space! I love space adventures. Don't you? It seems like kind of a weird place. So wake everyone back up and go kick some ass. This, this is Golov's world? I suppose. Ooh, we got a tent. I wonder what they want us to do. And a potion. We can farm tents here. From these pow, po.
There we go. Alright, that's probably enough uh, tent farming. Let's go ahead and take a nap. Because that is clearly what they want us to do. Lena, there's something I've been wondering about. It was way back when we were on North Mountain. Why do you risk your life just to save that drake? Sister, do you remember Mother? Eh, uh, hmm. A little. Whenever I see Hiryu, I'm reminded of her. What do you mean? How do you mean? <gasps> the fire went out. Monster, look out! Lena, Ferris! The abductor, huh? Fool! I'm gonna mug the shit out of Gaia Gear. Got an ether from me. Gas, I can't feel my legs. Well, at least we beat the shit out of him, right? We were at least good enough for that. Hmm. This doesn't look very good. In prison again. Oh well. It's not the first time. The last time. There's probably going to be several other times that we're imprisoned. Mwahaha, welcome to my castle. X Death. Monster. They're not even going to name it as in Lord X Death. Gallop and the others have made it to the big, to big bridge. Fortuitous timing. Prepare the giant mirror. Yes, my lord. Perhaps I should thank you. You're about to become quite useful to me. Bart, look up, look up in the sky. A bird? No, wait. It's our reflections. Grandpa, look. Bratz, Lena, Ferris, what in blazes is going on? That's far enough, Galoff. One more step and they die. Hell's bells. Everybody fall back. Gilgamesh. His first appearance. Sire, sir, watch them. See if they don't try anything. X Death, you. Damn. Man, Thundaga. Arg. Creel, I'm borrowing your Windrake. Barts and the others need my help. Release the wind drake. Wow, he can just fly right in there. Yeah. 
three-point landing. Fuck yeah. Thanks, boy. Now go back to Corral, okay? Watch out. So this is the place. Bart's items and crystal shards. Bart's, Lena, Ferris, hold on, I'm coming. So we got Bart's belongings. We need to get the other's belongings. All right, I guess he is optimized. Hmm. Both of those doors are locked, you say. Well, let's go ahead and save, and let's go ahead and push through this door. Because I do not remember which one we're supposed to go down. So those are healing water, I'm guessing. So those other two doors are locked. And so we will push through. A shell bear. Ooh boy, a tarantula. Stuck in sticky web, huh? That's not good. Yeah, we're just gonna try running from this. Because that fight was not gonna go well for us. Maybe we'll fight the shell bear by itself. Yeah, actually, I think we will. Ooh. What the fuck is wrong with the shell bear, by the way? Who goes there? Hey, Gilgamesh. Er, yeah, Gilgamesh. Take this. Ouch. It's a good thing we're a big tough guy. Haha, -ha, fuck you, Gilgamesh. I have a shield. Damn it. I too missed. Inconceivable. Um, well, it's not being dealt with. Don't really see you again. Caliph, sit tight and I'll have you out in a jiffy. Thanks, old man. Sorry for messing up your plans. We just wanted... Whatever, I'll verbally break you later. Hell yeah. After we've blown this pop stand. Alright. Now that we've got Gramps back... And he's the only one that's hurt. So let's just get the fuck out of here. Some tarantulas, you say. Tarantula... Lies? Tarantulas have bugs we can steal. And tarantulas this size probably don't eat bugs. They probably eat birds and snacks.
uh, people. Uh, actually, that's... Those tarantulas probably eat, like, people and dogs. and So they might very well have some equipment in their, in their nets. Nets in their webs. Whoa, better not let them see me. What? They're just a couple of goblins. Get our HPs and MPs restored. Just walked out the front door. <gasps> From here on, it's monsters all the way. Stay on your toes. That's fine. We'll fuck these things up all the way there. Mustard bomb. That's fucked up, man. Mustard gas? That's some sick shit. Three mar marrow. Ah, we missed with one attack. But they have nothing to steal, so whatever. And clearly, stealing is the most important part. What? Come on, old man. chariots, man. And their goddamn mustard gas. Oof. Kill the motherfucker. Yeah. At least now no one else can get hit by mustard gas. Ah, he didn't get silenced. Flying killer. They're... We're killing cats that somebody put bat wings on. I mean, they fucking hurt. I mean, 96 damage ain't nothing to laugh at, but still. They're cats. They even have little bells around their necks. Um... Thank you, Lena. Gilgamesh? Ha ha ha. Guess who's been waiting behind this door the whole time? Wow. Yes, it's me. Took you long enough, too. I was getting worried you might have gotten lost. Anyway, it's time to go! Alright, Gilgamesh. Do you really want to do this? Got a hero cocktail. I'll take it. Hero cocktails are pretty good. And nothing else to steal. Oh, well. That's fine. We got the hero cocktail. That's good a fuck enough. Fuck it. Well, why am I doing? We'll just put this on auto. That's all we're going to do is beat the crap out of him anyhow. Especially Ninja. I mean, goddamn. Bart's is really laying into him. Fucking Moonblades, man. They don't mess around. Wait, enough of this. I suppose I misjudged. Haste! Fighting all four of you. It's just way too much. Uh, 
That's fine, man. Because here's what's going to happen now. I'm just going to turn my healer on. And otherwise, everything is going to be the same. Ooh. Man, jump hurts. Alright, coffee's empty. Time to get my water. Alright. Your normal attacks don't do shit anymore, man. I remember I just have to take my leave, but we'll meet again. More monsters. Neo Gorilla. Oop. Don't need that on anymore. We can go back to all attack. Nothing to steal. Not even like a hide or. God damn. You really did not want us getting the fuck away, did you? Wow, you guys all attacked one guy and did just over 200 damage. Getting good money and decent regular experience. Not much in the way of AP, but whatever. <gasps> Kirill, Grandpa, the barrier, look out! Man, it's a good thing he didn't activate that. While we were still in the castle. Grandpa? Grandpa? Sorry, Creel. God damn, we were thrown far. Any idea where this is? Yeah, this has got to be... Glossinia, the back of beyond, crawling with monsters, too. Figures we'd be thrown someplace like this. Isn't every place crawling with monsters? Goloff, sorry about all this. I mean, we came to help you, but we ended up help helping us. As usual, I meant it, you know. You really didn't have to come, Meddlesome bums the lot of you. Yeah, pretty much. Still, it's good to see you again. Whoa! Alright, so we were... We were down here. Can't see where I'm pointing. And I don't have the location. So you see that bridge spanning the, the ocean? That's where we were. And now we're up here in this little corner. So yeah, we... We got thrown pretty far. Hmm, not going that way. Fairy orc. Really? Because that looks like flying pigs to me. What the fuck is this bullshit? Fairy orc? Uh-uh. 
That is not what the fuck that is. But hey, two AP apiece for, for that fight. I'll take it. I need as much fucking AP as I can get right now. I remember these. I remember them being mostly annoying. Silenced it, at least. And having, yeah, just fuck tons of hit points. But hey man, we're getting potions from them. I don't remember what transfusion is supposed to do. I think it's supposed to heal. You sacrifice your own hit points to give everyone else a split of it, if I recall. So if you have, if I had a thousand hit points, I would give each one of the other people 333. All right, a village. This is the frontier town of Regal. Why, thank you, old man. Creates illusion of oneself to confuse the enemy. Sounds good. Drain, break, and bio. Fuck yeah, man. Comet, Slowaga, and return. To the beginning of battle. That seems not that useful. He runs the weapon store. Thanks? A sleep blade? A dark bow. A harp. A chain whip. A wind spear. Alright, because I know something that we have a lot of that we can sell. Battle axes. Anything else that we have a fuck ton of that we can sell that's actually worth selling? Because most things aren't. Alright, well that's all of our money. But... No, sir, you are going to get the Warhammer. There we go. So, now that we have no money... Well, I'll be if I haven't seen a visitor in this town for years. That castle to the south is the sealed castle of Kazu. The weapon, the weapons used in the legendary war a thousand years ago were sealed away in there. Why, thank you, old lady. This town got it, the, got the best brew in the whole world. You should try a glass. Better not get too close to that castle down south. I heard X Death has returned. But he'd never bother with an out-of-the-way podunk town like this. I did too see a Moogle, really, truly. That's a big fat liar, says he saw a Moogle. He's a liar, liar, pants on fire. Fucking with the sheep, fucking with the sheep. No, not fucking the sheep, fucking with the sheep. God, get your head out of the gutter. How much money do we have left? Probably enough for a nap. Not that we... Well, we kind of need it. Tonight's on the house. Fantastic. Ah, shit. Story event. 
Oh well. Hmm? Where'd he go? Where'd Gallif go? Blop, blop, blop. <gasps> What's that? Ah, now that's the stuff. Finally, a chance to the fame, a chance to try the famed Riggle Brew. Kind of burns a path down your throat. Oh, Bart's, what's up? Couldn't sleep. Hmm, come on, pull up a chair. I'm sorry. If we hadn't butted in, you'd have been able to get into Exodus the Castle. Nah, even if we had gotten in, the barrier would have destroyed us. I hadn't the slightest inkling it'd be, f it'd be finished. In fact, it's only thanks to you that we, that we weren't all crushed. Galf? Parts, you knew that once you came here, you would never return, so why'd you do it? No particular reason. Parts? Don't worry about it. God, from that profile shot, they all have such dangerous eyes. Yeah! This stuff is great. It doesn't... Shines. There ain't no dancers in this tiny one-horse town. How about you dance for us? Sure. We're not good dancers. Hey, not too shabby. Received a hundred gil. Ever heard of the uh, Cornago Gourd? It helps you catch monsters. Slick as a whistle. Neat. Mmm, such a rich, full-bodied flavor. How about some of those fame brew? Nah, I, I think we should probably attempt to be sober. There's tons of monsters outside the town. I'm aware. Ooh, now we can buy high potions again. Zombie status. Temporarily doubles max HP. Consume with drink command. Well then. Well. So we need a fuck ton of money. He runs the armor store. So, we need 3,000, 10,000, 14, 15.5, 15.5 thousand just for armor. Plus we want to replace the other moon ring with an auriculum with another auriculum blade, so that's another like what? Like 5k. So what we really need is So around 40k. 
So we can also buy a bunch of ethers and high potions and whatnot. All right, so. Let's see how far we can get. If at all. That's right, you have to have... Jumping Jehoshaphat. There must be 12 sealed weapons. They really do exist. I thought they were only a legend. So these were used by a battle thousands years ago. They've all turned to stone. One of the 12 ledger Magus Rod. The harp. Caliber. Now, if I remember correctly, in order to unlock a legendary weapon, does everybody? I do not recall what you... I don't recall if you have to have everybody. Yeah, you must have to have everybody have mastered that job class. So let's get you back over to Ninja. With... Mug. So yeah, we can't unlock any of them yet, but with time. Oh boy. Wonderful. Yeah, we cannot fight this guy. What the fuck am I doing? Just a moment here. We'll bring that back online. With our pseudo safe scumming. Oh, god damn it. I hit continue instead of load game. There we go. Fucking spewing slime at us. Alright, now let's get our team back to where they should be doing. Ooh, holy water. Fuck yeah, man. There's a reason I'm doing what I'm doing. Moogle Village, totally awesome, but uh, if I remember correctly, kind of a bitch. <gasps> the Moogle ran away and fell into a hole. Koopo. What's a Moogle doing in a place like this? Moogle? 
strange little cr critters that live in the forest. They're pretty timid though, so you don't see them that often. Let's help it. Moogle Eater? That doesn't sound good. So I wonder if with, with sleep with the sleep sword, if we use the sleep spell, do we get double chance of activating it? Man, that was some pretty intense fucking current. Acrophies? I'm probably horribly mispronouncing that. Ooh. Ooh, these guys. These guys like it rough. Potions? Why potions? Why not high potions, damn it? I guess the potion is better than nothing, technically. All right, last one. Ooh, that, that smarts. Come on. I mean, it's a fair amount of money, I guess, but. Blood slime. That doesn't sound good. Fuck! Alright, well that guy's down. Good job. Some good hits in. Yeah, come on. Get the Moogle Eater. Fuck, man. Woo! Let's go ahead and burn him. Vampire? Damn it. That's a fair amount of money. So, we can either go down the waterfall, or go over to this takes us. God damn. Just take your fucking lightning damage, pieces of shit. Old man, do you need glasses? Do we need to get you some glasses, Gollum? I'm oh, sorry, spectacles. I think we do. I think we need to get the fucker some spectacles. All right, well, that's one down. Go. Mm -hmm. 
And this should kill it. Fabulous. God damn it. Would you fuckers just stop? Actually, no, we need a lot of money, a lot of XP, a lot of APB. So keep on bringing it, come on. Even though you guys in particular are really annoying because we don't have we didn't have the money to get all the items that we wanted all the armors eight arms that didn't do much more damage than your regular attack good job Barts Go. All right. <gasps> no. Stay away from the skeleton, Mr. Moogle. Ah, shit. A tyrannosaur. Fuck! He is messing up Gollif. Oh. There we go. Yeah, fuck you, T-Rex. Shit, man! gonna fuck you up pretty bad? Yeah? Well, there goes the team. Nope. There goes the team. Oh well. So, that guy messed us up something fierce. Let's go ahead and heal everyone again. scroll now is it only so melee attacks are fine but it's magic attacks that bring up that bring about poison breath gotcha god damn this guy's a son of a bitch Fuck you. I wasn't gonna fight you fair, but no, you're a bastard.
Oh, you must have been so scared. It's okay now. Don't worry, come closer. Koopo? It's all right now. Koopo, Koopo. It's never all right. Koopo! What's going on? I think he's asking us to follow him. How did you get that out of that? Okay. So, stay on the green. And go... All the way around. Over there. How did we see that from this cave? I call bullshit. Let's take a nap. We could use a nap. That T-Rex really messed us up before we decided... We weren't going to play any more games with him. This must be a pretty dangerous uh, desert if the, the Moogle doesn't want us to go through it. Moogle Village? Yep. He didn't have time to spread the word. Koopo. Yeah, we found one of you fuckers. Koopo. It's locked. Yep, Koopo. <gasps> it's the one that, rec that recognizes us. Look, it's the Moogle we helped. Are you thanking us? It understands English. That's fucking amazing. I think he's telling us we can have what's inside. All right, well, I know who our Beastmaster is now. One gill. Ooh, dancing dagger. And a cottage. Yep, we already got everything that's inside. The most important thing being the cottage. Let's go break into other Moogle's houses. Why would a Moogle need a Moogle costume? I'm a little creeped out by this. Did, did we promise something in exchange for that elven mantle? Are we betrothed to a Moogle now, collectively?
Is that it? Is that all the houses? What's it doing? That is a brilliant question. What's going on? Why are you so excited? Hmm. What's happened? It's Grandpa. He's in the Moogle village. Hmm? Moogles can all communicate through telepathy. That's pretty astounding. Yeah, that is quite amazing that they can all communicate through telepathy. From here, yes, plus the wind, Drake is tired of flying. Nah, it's cool, man. So that means, I see, thank you. He says he can go, but only once. If you're certain it's alright. Why not? I guess it doesn't like Moogles. What's going on? Kupo. They're freaking the fuck out, man. Uh, nose? Gee, where's the Moogle forest anyway? Kupo? Hmm? At the nose? Wow. That's pretty amazing. Koopo! They deforested a section just so the dragon can land. That's fucked up, man. That's really fucked up. Grandpa! How did you find us? The Moogle told me you were here. Grandpa, we should hurry back to the castle. So, anyone remember Atrax? Because, uh, if I remember correctly... We're about to have a bit of an Atrax moment. Yeah, it's a nice little helipad, or Drake pad, I guess. Where's Moogle? I'll take the Windrake back to his roost so he can rest, okay? Oh, I guess not. Uh, for some reason I recall... ...the Drake dying. King Gullif! Thank you for holding down the fort while I was gone. King. None of us are really all that surprised. What's the situation with Xtef? There's been no activity since the barrier went up. I see. And our troops? They've been almost entirely wiped out by Xtef monsters ho monster horde. I'm sorry, sire. Uh, I thought you were just some crazy old man. You've never said anything about being a king. Well, you know. This sure is a surprise and a half. 
Good job, man. Go get some rest. Yes, sire. Barts, what is it? You've still got that funny look on your face. It's you, a king? I still can't get over it, that's all. What, you saying I'm not the epitome of kingliness? What? Just kidding. I just better mind my P's and Q's around you, King Golf. Golf. Listen up. Before you knew me as a king, you knew me as a friend. Just Golf is fine. Understood, Just Golf. Don't push it, kid. Here in Ball, bad jokes like that will get you punished. <laughs> Fucking A. <laughs> Ooh. Learn to teleport? Hell yeah. Only the best magics for my team. Can speak with this Moogle just like it was a person. What a mysterious talent. That is actually extraordinarily rare. Lady Krill is such a good child. She's got the same big heart as the king. The same heart? Well, that's not really good. Because what if the king dies? Or what if she dies? And they both die. The Windrake. He's dying. What? What happened? He pushed himself too hard. He was wounded and shouldn't have been flying, but he took me to find you. He sacrificed himself to save us. Is there any way for us to save him? We need dragon grass. Dragon grass? Will that heal his wounds? Yes. However, does such a thing even exist in this world? Back when back home, Windrakes always nest near dragon grass. I expect these drakes act the same. Why would you expect that? If we go to where Drake's roost, we ought to find dragon grass nearby. Hmm. If that's the case, then... Well, where do we need to go? Our best bet is Drakenvale, the old valley of Windrakes. Wow. No one has entered has ever returned. Guess that means we'll be the first to do. Drakenvale is north of the castle. It's just past Quelb, the wolf in town. What about the monsters outside? There's so many of them. No worries. Not if we're all on the offensive. Right. Together we'll be alright. And we'll bring back some dragon grass. Never you fear. But what if we die? Actually, if we die, there's bigger things at stake than just a drake. Uh, the world, for instance. Existence. It's been locked from the inside. Uh... Can we defeat these guys? Probably not. That door of the basement won't open no matter what you try. How do you know? Have you been trying? Fifty gil a night? Dude, I'm your fucking king! Piece of shit, peasant. I guess that actually makes us a good ruler. But God damn it! what if I don't want to be a good ruler? To 
Did no one ever think about my feelings? And a wizard's hat. And gold armor. And some gauntlets. Any new weapons? Well, if an auriculum dagger is better than the war hammer. So it's exactly the same that way. The equipment is optimized that only takes into account items, attack, and defense, not other effects. Thus, accessories like the Elven Mantle or the Golden Hairpin may be unequipped. Be careful when optimizing equipment that items with special status buffs but lower stats are removed by mistake. Sometimes evades physical attacks. Increases agility would increase our magic and resistance. No, but that would be very useful for you. Darkness, we're spending with increased strength. All right, I think we're all good on the equipment front, don't you? We got all of our magics. We got all of our items. Open the gates. But Sire, exit the monsters are waiting outside. Once we're clear, shut the doors and seal them tight. Nope, not yet. Okay, so, what is out here? Because there wouldn't, that wouldn't be there for nothing. Okay, so there's a little alcove there. Found a great sword lying in the water. That's awesome, man. What does this scrape sword do? Sword with a broad blade, that's all. That is actually one of the almost awesome features. <laughs> Yeah, being one of our main attackers, that's going to be very, very useful in her hands. Now we can mess some shit up.
And if only we had a second dancing dagger. But, oh well. I mean, we work with what we've got, right? So, that's where... Alright. Nothing else hidden. Exeth, uh, Exeth has really been giving our men a beating. Now we don't have many soldiers left. That's fine. We can kill his monsters in droves. Uh, sire, if we do that, you won't be able to re-enter the castle. Yep. We've got ways. Don't worry. All right, now close the gate and seal it and don't let anyone inside, no matter what. If, as you command, take care of your majesty. Yipes. Didn't take long for SS creeps to get here on our toes. Kids, here they come! Well, let's fuck them up with our, new, with our new items. Ooh, a new power armlet. Yeah, man, we're gonna fuck this guy up to pieces. Nothing left to steal, huh? It happens. Alright, so, up here... We have Gil, C Gil Cave, huh? Well, let's go in there and see how much money we can earn in Gil Cave. Because that's clearly what it's for, right? Oh god. It's a giant millipede. Has nothing to steal. I mean... That's alright, I guess, but that's not that much money. I was expecting, you know, to make fuck tons of money while we're in this cave, but... Uh, no, this place seems... Not that good at making money. Although, lots of undergrounders, so... F I mean, they have nothing to steal, though. So it's not like you can really farm them for anything. I mean, they give... <sighs> Ooh, sorry about that. Oh boy. Run away, can't escape. Well, I guess we're fucked then. Yep, there we go. Completely fucked. can't kill a, a gill turtle. So that... That's probably worth a fair amount of money. I don't remember how much... Oh, shit. That... does not look good. These guys can actually kind of hurt us. team. So, we just died a couple times in a row, you know, whatever.
Yeah, man, putting that elven mantle to use. Nope, there we go. Dancing Dagger. Right. Forgot about Dancing Dagger. Doing all sorts of weird shit. left. He can still kill most of the team in a single strike, though, if he wanted. That! That is some good kill, some decent experience, and some okay APB. Let's get everyone, uh... Back up to fighting, fighting capacity. And I'm assuming this is the way out on the other side. Yep, okay. Well, don't want that yet. That's not, that's really not good. Come on, run away guys. Or I guess we're just fighting now. Shit. Wow. What the fuck was that? No. Uh, I attempted the gill turtle and it, uh, it tore me a new asshole. It, it was pretty bad, actually. Yeah, yeah, I forgot that the Gill Cave was a bitch. Yeah, I don't have float yet. I mean, I could barely even touch it. Like, not just damage-wise, but, like, actually even hit it. What the fuck are my roommates doing? I am dropping frames like crazy right now. Well, there goes the team. Again. worst part is they don't even have anything to steal. Oh god, the gill turtle? Yeah. I had forgotten how rough that guy was. That's alright. We made it out, and now we can run around killing all the monsters we want to our heart's content. So how you doing tonight, Madness? Hmm, Quelb. The gate to Draken Vale is north of town. Easy to find. The question is, will it be open? Doing pretty good. The answer is, it will not be. I mean, kind of. I was... When we left off, if you recall, we just blown up the, uh...
Hmm. No good. It's locked tight. We just blew up the uh, the floating tower or fortress. So, guess we better find Kelger. Kelger's kind of a dick. I mean, he wouldn't let us. Uh, he stole items from us. We let him out of a prison, and he didn't really even help us. Halt. You have encroached far enough. <gasps> Alright, guys, if you really want to take it that way. Hmm. Well, if it's a fight you want, then. Bart's, calm down. There are allies. If our allies are pointing blades at us, I certainly don't want to meet our enemies. Uh, I've been going for an hour and 40 minutes. <gasps> oh, Galif. Kelger. It's been quite a while, has it not? Sure has. Ah, Kelger's here, one of the four Dawn Warriors. He fought X-Death with you 30 years ago? Who are the younglings? Oh god. Oh god, younglings. They're all gonna die. Folks from the world where we sealed X-Death. Friends of X-Death? Ha! Huh, wait. These cads are the ones who destroyed the crystals and brought X-Death back. And you led them here? <laughs> You've got it all wrong. Listen, stand down, Gullif. Shit! Arts or whoever you are, prepare yourself. I would test your blade. Kelger. Crony of X-Death or no, show me what kind of man you really are. Alright. No, stay back. I gotta settle this m man to man? Come on. Ha. Huh. Let's see how you handle my lupine attack. So you're a ninja. Got it. There you are. Bratz, I told you not to hurt him. Yeah, we really messed him up. Sorry about that, Kelger. Hell's bells, Kelger. Always overdoing it. Why don't you act your age for once? Still? To foil my lupine attack so easily. You're most, more skilled than you seem. Nah, it's just a trick I learned from my dad. Your father? What was his name? Dorgan? <gasps> what? You're making those faces for? No way, you can't be. Dorgan's son? Um, dad's name was Dorgan. And I am his son, so... Well, small world we live in, huh? Bart, your father, along with me, Kelger, and... Come on, guys. Zexat? Zexat Sergate? We fought together against X-Death. Dorgan was one of the four Dawn Warriors. Wait, Dad's from this world? Correct. We followed X-Death to your world, and then... Yep, we got the part where we you sealed him away. Is this guy immortal? How much punishment can he take? Even when we knock him down, he won't stay down. We'll have to seal him here. Yeah, that's our only way out. Is it? Wait, seal him here? We can't just leave a demon from our world in another. What other choice do we have? Look sharp, lads. He's recovering. Damnation! You know, when we went and... Well, so... We went and saw his grave. And... 
Everyone in town knew him, but nobody mentioned Dorgan. They all were just really surprised to see Bart's. I'm trying to remember if there was anything other than the... when we etched Dorgan's name on the... on the mother's casket. If anyone says anything about Dorgan there. I don't think so. No, there really is no choice. He must be sealed, and we may not get a ch second chance. Oh. Dorgan, we can't seal him with the crystals unless all our hearts are united. Are you with us? But I mean, at the same time, the Warriors of Light are always have some sort of connection and I I mean the the two princesses make sense because the king has great power of course Galuf has a great power and then just some kid you're certain you want to stay in a village not that far from the four meteorites my mind's made up but why Safe journey. Dorgan. Exactly. Dorgan stayed in your world to watch over Exteth's seal. Wow, that's... Huh. <laughs> How fair is old Dorgan anyway? Three years ago, he got real sick and well... I see. My sympathies. Son of Dorgan, anything you ask of me shall be done. You need only name your request. How about giving me an army to go and fight Exdeath? Opening the gate. Um, teach me the lupine attack. Outfit us for free, let us to stay here whenever we want. I mean, I guess that's something. Always having a free in. Especially since... I'm probably gonna call the stream pretty soon here. So that'll be nice to have an inn where I can... No, oh, we don't want her to have a power amulet. A power sash. Yeah. Um, so I'll have... So I'll have plenty of uh, time to run around and get all the uh, money that I could ever want. Lightweight katana favored by ninjas. More scrolls and shuriken. Hell yeah. And I already got this. Yeah. That, like the other ones, the August spells are pretty nice, but bio, that is a big one. A wizard? Will you please bring me a frog? Come on, bring me one. I gotta have one. I could turn someone into a frog. Will that work? Uh, already been in there. So he's the one that we get that, uh, that catching item. You know, I'm probably <laughs> never gonna use, um, 
60 gil? Nah, man, that's cool. I'm actually full up at the moment. That's quite the ceremony you guys have going on there. Yeah. Got Requiem. Well worth it. So yeah, I'm probably going to call it here. I'm just going to step outside and save. Because um, I have an announcement that... I'm going to be making at the top and bottom of every stream. And so I want to make sure I'm able to get it disseminated out there. And that is, if I make it to 10 followers by the end of September, I will schedule a 24-hour stream. Now, that 24-hour stream is not necessarily going to be whatever we're playing um, on Retrospect My Fantasy at the moment. It's going to be a bonus 24 hours um, where I will specifically not play whatever we're playing on Retrospect My Fantasy. So it's just going to be anything from um, I don't know, like Warframe or Payday or Civilization, XCOM. Actually, probably not XCOM because I want to do that on a future Retrospect my fantasy after we're done with the Final Fantasy series. Um, but it's just going to be a bunch of different games. Um, I'm going to try and rope some of my roommates in, some of my friends in, to come in and do something so I can, like, you know, cook and take showers and whatnot um, and still keep the entertainment flowing. Um, but. That is the big announcement. If we can make 10 by the ten followers by the end of the month, I'll schedule a 24-hour stream. Um, aside from that, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific. I guess it's Pacific Daylight Savings Time right now. Um, we'll keep on pushing through the Final Fantasy series. I mean, we've got still a long way to go on this one. We've got another... How far are we... We're 15 hours in, roughly speaking. So we've got probably another 15, 20 hours of gameplay in this. And then we've got another seven games. Six games. Another six games uh, to go before we can move on to whatever the next franchise will be. Um, but hey, Madness, I want to thank you for joining me again tonight. Um, I hope you have a wonderful evening and a great day tomorrow. And anyone else that dropped in, and I want to thank you as well. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow at 7 p.m. Have a wonderful night.